All right, and we're back. Today's video, we're going to be installing a heel shifter on a 2022 Street Glide Special. If you're into Harleys, you know that the newer specials don't come with a heel shifter. If you want it, you have to add it. So this shouldn't take too long. Shouldn't be too hard of a job. Hardest part's going to be lining up exactly where he wants to put the shifter, you know, the, the alignment of the, the uh, shifters. So, all right, so first thing, you're gonna have 3 sixteenths. We gotta pop this. Are you gonna go? Yeah, that's what I was afraid of. That's what I was afraid of. The, uh, it's, it's too tight for a metric, because we sized it up, and too loose for the standard. We'll use the actual key. Okay, there we go. That's getting her loose. All right, so that's loose. Now we should be able to go, put that back where it belongs, go back to the, the ratchet. There we go. Get that started. Does that have a nut on the bottom? I'll be damned. I don't remember mine having a nut. I thought mine was threaded into the control itself. All right, now, are we loose enough to come off? Yes, we are. All right, so, see your position. So we're gonna leave it like that for now. We're gonna gauge where it's at. So that just slides off there. And then we'll pull this. Now, they give you spacers. That goes, gonna hold the back of your shift lever. That goes there. And then we take our shifter, should be like, that and then it's too close. It's gonna go like this. This is your heel shifter. Let's get it lined up there. It's gonna probably be too high. What do you think? I think that might be too low. Huh. I think the the toe shifter goes back on. They want to reverse the. No, 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 no. That stays that way. Oh, okay. So, so the, the okay. On. So this has to go all the way on. Okay, so the toe shifter is just going to move back, and then the heel goes to the outside. Okay, yep. See, I don't remember when I yanked mine off. Yeah. Mine was all, yeah. yeah gonna okay, so that's going to be too low. All right, so what I want you to do is hop on the bike, <laughs> and we're going to see how you fit for the front if we need to adjust it down, a not, a, a, you know, one spline on it. So what we can do is just disconnect the bungee pad. Hang on, hang on. No, let's just do this. Pull it like that. Let's do that. And that way you got that. All right, throw your foot up under there and see. Because I put that back where that was. See how that feels. Is that going to be all right? Because <clears throat> you remember it's moving in now. It has to move into the inner. Yeah. It's, um, it's this, is you want to come down a spline or up a spline? Let's go down one. You want to go down where, one? Okay. See where it's at. Yep. All right. There you go. That's down one. Yeah, I think that'll be better. Okay. Can your foot? Yeah, because you're going to be using the heel, so you won't be won't you won't be up shifting with that. Yeah, the way it was before. Right. So you use your heel. Okay. So we're going to leave that one there, and let me get this back in. We'll get this started. Oh, let me get some blue Loctite. Always remember the Loctite. That's a nylock nut, but it's probably worn out. All right, a little bit like so. Make that run around just enough. I'm surprised the kit didn't come with a new um, nylock nut. Probably did for the back one, not the front one. Yeah. All right, I'm just snugging that there for now, just in case we have to push in on that. All right, so that shouldn't move. Now, we're going to be... Now, that's, that's perfectly lined up, which is how I believe they're supposed to be, but you got to see for your heel. Let's see. Not going to tighten this down. We're just going to slide it together, so you can kind of get a feel for where it's at. Right, let's see what we got here. Okay. 
out here. Should be that, yep. Let me, can we see what we're doing? Pivot that around so you guys can see the back one. All right, so just want to start no, this a little that bit. Might actually, looking at that, how close that is. Yeah, so we want to come up a little I bit. I think yep. it may hit. Yeah, yeah, the board. So what we'll do is we'll come up a little bit. One. There you go. Yeah, I think that'll be good. Think that's going to do the trick? Yeah. Good? Yeah, because right, that way, like, yep. it's... Like lift it up, see how my heel just comes up. Yeah, above yep, it. just enough to hit it. Yep. yep, all right, very good. So that's where we're going to be. Even though it's got nylon, I'm going to put a little blue thread lock. Because I have seen these things laying in the road, going to rallies. I don't know if you ever notice it. I actually ran one over with my switchback years ago on the way back from the Wildwood Rally. It, uh, damn thing was laying right in the street. <laughs> Alright, now we gotta guess. Was that metric on here or was that standard? Let's see what we got here. A little a little bigger. Yeah, okay, so three eighths. Let's see. Again, like I said, they go back and forth with what they use. Alright, so that is standard. Now, did they give you a torque value in that pant? Yeah, it's in the pocket. Okay, let me just snug that a little bit. All right, let's see. All right, so now we got them in place, so it's exactly where he wants them. And the torque, now it says 30 minutes, but we're nowhere near that far into it. Uh, 9 to 12 foot-pounds. Okay, very good. Now we got the old torque wrench. Come on, where are they at? There they are. Yeah, it doesn't take much. You're not, you know, you're not supposed to clamp it completely down hard. Just enough to snug it is basically all we're doing. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> okay. That's that. Get to the adapter. Easier said than done than your butter fingers. <laughs> like I always tell you, Pat, it's old age setting in there. All right, very good. Use the beam style wrench. Get that in there. Back up underneath. Come on. Tough to see where it's at. There we go. Come on. Really? That's one, and we'll get to the front one here. So we're nine to 12 pounds. I'm going straight to 10 with it, is what I'm doing. So this way you know if you decide to change your own out. <clears throat> you see how easy it is to convert it over to a heel shifter. That's what you want. Personally, I yank my heel shifter off because my ankle doesn't like to turn that way. Almost, one more. Mm, 10. All right, very good. And that's all there is to it. So now we got to snug that down. And what are they saying on torque value on the peg itself? Same thing, 9 to 12. So we're exact same torque spec on here. So what we want to do is swap this out. And this is a quarter inch. And it's a quarter inch. So what I want to do, that already has red Loctite on it. And we're going to run that into snug. Once we get it snug, then we'll throw a little bit of torque on it. Right there. Swap over to our beam style wrench. As you guys know, I prefer the beam style. They're more accurate than the clickers. I'm shifting your gears, Pat. A little more. All right, very good. All right, throw that on there and see how you feel. Make sure before we start moving on to putting stuff away. Feel good? Good? 
Yeah, it's probably in second or third now because as I was snugging it, it, it was dropping down. Okay, here's your neutral. It's first. Second. All right, very good. Perfect. See, that's how I like this. I always have a problem going into it. Yeah, yeah. See, my ankle won't flex that way, so that's why I yeah. pulled mine off and I just adjusted my shifter. All right, so that's the extent of it. That is the installation of heel shifter. Uh -huh. Harley part number 94100085. So again, if you want to convert your special over to heel toe shifter, this is the kit you need to do it. How much was this? I don't even think it was 100 bucks. Okay, so I'll probably under $100 to do the conversion. And you see, what did it take us? Uh, we're 10 minutes, 52, 11 minutes into the install. That's it, and it's done. Done, torqued, ready to rock. All right, everybody, as always, thanks for watching. Don't forget to please hit like and subscribe and make a comment. Comments are definitely appreciated because all that helps with the analytics program on YouTube. All right, I'll see you guys in the next video.